This is how you can create the highlighter effect inside of Kaden Live. It's an easy effect, and I'll show you various methods for different scenarios. So over in Kaden Live, you can either use an image of a highlighter like this one that I have here, or you can simply use color clips. So starting with this first method, I'll be working with title clips, and I've placed the highlighter and the color under the title clips. I'll first show you how to do the breaking news segment. So I'll disable the color clip and the block of text. We'll do this from scratch. So I'll delete the composition track over here and I'll delete the effects on the highlighter clip. So the first thing I'll look for is the crop scale and tilt effect. I'll add it to the highlighter. And now I'll jump forward one second in a few frames and I'll add a keyframe. Choose whichever duration you want for your reveal. With that done, I'll jump back to the first keyframe and then I'll increase the crop right which is simply going to crop out our highlighter image. And I'll switch the interpolation to smooth. This is for a more dynamic reveal. You can go with linear, cubic out, or whichever one works for you. However you want your reveal to appear. So now if I play back, we already have our reveal. The next effect that I'll add is a transform effect. And the first thing I'll do is check on distort. This will allow us to squash and stretch our highlighter however we please. I'll temporarily disable the crop scale and tilt. And with the transform selected and the edit mode enabled, I can now resize the highlight to fit under the word breaking news. I'll use the monitor controls to change the size. Once I have something I'm satisfied with, I can enable the crop scale and tilt. And now if I play back, we now have our reveal. Lastly, if you want the highlighter to blend with the background, click on the lower left corner of the highlighter image to add a composition strip. Make sure it fits the entire length of your image. And now switch from wipe to Cairo blend and then change the blend mode to multiply. I'm choosing multiply because I have a lighter background. If you have a darker background, you could go with overlay, lighten or screen. Now, finally, if the background is not directly under your highlighter, you can change the composition track to aim or target the background track. So now we have our reveal and the highlighter is blending with the background. Now for the block of text where I have two highlighters, so this first one and the second one. So already you can see I have the Cairo blend for the blend mode and I'm using a color clip. So if I disable both alpha shapes, we simply have our color clip. So I'll show you with the first alpha shape over here. On the first keyframe, I use the canvas controls or the monitor controls to scale it all the way down. And if I disable the edit mode, you can see we have one little green strip here, which is fine because it appears exactly when our highlighter is about to start. And then the operation, I have it set to minimum and I decrease the transition width all the way down to zero so we get sharp edges. Now for the second highlighter, I'll go ahead and delete the alpha shape so we can do this from scratch and I'll look for shape. So I'll grab alpha shapes. I'll switch the operation to add and then I'll drop the transition width all the way to zero for sharper edges. I'll move forward in time. So let's see around here. I'll enable the edit mode on the monitor and I'll select the text that I want to highlight. Once that's done, I'll add a keyframe. I'll jump forward one second in a few frames and I'll add another keyframe. Now I can jump back to this first keyframe and I'll scale it down all the way. But if I disable the edit mode, you'll see we still have this green strip, which will be visible from the very beginning. To fix this, you can either create another track and add a different color clip, or what I did is I moved back one frame I added a keyframe and with the edit mode enabled, I grabbed the edge of the alpha shape and then I scaled it down to a small dot. Now I can copy this keyframe. So I'll click on copy keyframe. I'll jump back to this first keyframe and then I'll paste the keyframe. So if I disable the edit mode, we still have a very tiny little green dot. To make it disappear, you can increase the transition width, which should technically blur it out. Then we can jump to this keyframe over here and do the same, increase the transition width. And now from this 
next keyframe, it will give us this green line and then cover our text. Moving on to another use case scenario. Here I have an image, this image over here, and we still have the paper background, but this image here has no title clips. So the text that we'll be highlighting is already on the page. So to do this, if I scroll through the timeline, you can see we have this reveal here, but yet the highlighter is showing up in an angle. So let's break it down. So I'll disable the other effects here. And the first thing I did is use the crop by padding. You can also use the crop scale and tilt. But for this one, I went with the crop by padding because I don't need the different blend modes. So the add, subtract, minimum, etc. Next, I use a transform effect to scale and rotate the highlighter so it would go over our text. Then I added an alpha shapes set to ellipse and subtract just so I could mimic the shape of the plate and remove the highlighter from the plate because otherwise it would cover the plate but it didn't really seem integrated enough so I added this and then lastly if we move at the end here the highlighter goes over the book which I also thought was breaking the integration so I use a rotoscoping also set to subtract so I could remove the edge of the book here and that's really it and of course we have the composition strip down here set to Cairo blend in multiply going to composition track v2 which is the image down here last case scenario over here we have this image and we have our highlighter effect for this one i use a rotoscoping so i'll disable the alpha shape for now i use a rotoscoping set to right on clear or you could go for minimum i created the shape let me enable the edit mode here i created a selection around the text with this, you can create imperfections if you want. So we could add extra points and have it be jagged or curved. And then with the alpha shape, I did the reveal. So this time the reveal comes after because I used a color clip over here. So if I disable these two, the whole image is yellow. So it's an entire color clip. The rotoscoping to isolate the selection over the text and the alpha shape to do the reveal. And of course, lastly, we have the Cairo blend set to multiply so that it blends with the background. Now, I have a Kofi link down in the description if you'd like to support the channel. You can click on this playlist here to learn more about Kitten Live. And thanks for watching.